Money to make. I'm gonna go crash that whole computer. Naya, chill out with your attitude, bro. Because nobody got time for it today. Ain't no stupid computer go out that much. My computer ain't never went out like that. Yo. That junk keep going out for what? It's fully charged. Bro. I'm if you got to assignments to do, do it on my computer and wait your computer come back on. I'm doing it on my phone. I got to do it on the go. Do you need a vacation? I do. I think so you I do too. I'm going to do some of Find me a full-time job. Feel the breeze. I need to go on the ride by myself. Some music. Just glaze into the wings. Maybe you do need a break. Shit, go. Go now. I ain't going nowhere now. I'm Why? I'm going to go in the morning when I wake up, feel refreshed, and just go. Mm. Mm hmm. It's not no time for that. It's about to be night time. I'm me and Leah went for a ride. And this girl let me pass the house because I've been so in the day. It was like so chill, bruh. And we rode straight past the house. We went all the way past the store by America. I said, Leah. We got the food in it. She said, yeah, it's right here. I said, you said, I said, you let me pass all the way by the house. She said, oh, I thought you was going to a store or something. Took my Leah, my Nunu. We call Leah Nunu. <laughs> and Kaya Tinkerbell. My little Tinkerbell, they'll be home soon. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey. So we about to get ready to get some lunch or whatever. Today is not the day, yo. It's already getting dark. It's no clouds out, and I love looking up in the clouds. You know what I'm saying? So let me tell y'all about this right here. I had a wonderful morning. I woke up, went to the bathroom, went back to bed, got up late today. I got up at two something today, and I'm officially up. And I was working on my third book because I just got my other books on my porch this morning. So I went and did a little short YouTube video. Let me say something about that. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and jump on into the video because you know. It just, it just irritates me on a lot of things that I hear and see out here in the world. Now, people don't accomplish you when you're doing, when you're doing good. They only accomplish you when you're doing bad. They only, they only talk down on you when you're doing good and bad. But at the end of the day, how could I went out there and post a YouTube video of my book um, saying I accomplished a lot with getting this book out there. Thank God for his blessings. I got 97 views in one hour. When I post any other video about drama, hate, stress, what I eat, and whatever else, I get 4.4K views within an hour. Why can't a person applaud you on when you're doing good? Why you can't have people that come over and encourage you on like, dang, you did it, you finally got it out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, congratulations or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, don't, they don't reward you when you're doing good. They don't sit up there and say, oh, you know, nigga, you did it, this, that, and the third, congratulations. They only do that only when you're doing something bad. And when somebody's talking about somebody else, people run to go see what they're talking about. Social media is crazy because it's all about drama, yo. It's all about negativity. It's not about positive. That's why a lot of them, that's why a lot of these people go out here and still post their life and still sing their songs and write books and do things. Damn, he driving fast, ain't it? Because they're not ashamed of who they are and they don't care what people say. And that's how I am. Like I'm I'm type of person that just feel like damn i don't need you to say thank you and all this and congratulations and stuff like that but damn where the views at? at least view the damn shit they don't even view it seven six nine wait huh two oh you get three Big? three for twenty uh small five five yeah the small, small yeah three seven six and three Oh, is that seven, six, and nine? No, I don't want nine. Seven, seven, eight, and three. Seven, eight, and three? Yeah. Anyways, I was just talking tonight about my bingo books. I'm trying to figure out the numbers I was going to pick out. But I don't need nobody to come over there and actually be, be like, congratulations or, you know, <gasps> Nika, I encourage you. <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying? To keep going forward or whatever. It's just the views. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, damn, 97 views in an hour? Like, really? Like, wow. That's crazy. But anyways, uh, Thanksgiving is um, in about three days, y'all. And I really want to cook. Um, 
Like, I really want to do turkey and ham and collard greens and rice, all that stuff in my kitchen. You know, something small and then take it to the kids. Well, the kids supposed to be coming to put up the Christmas tree. I'm going to um, talk with their dad again about it. See if you could bring them to put up the Christmas tree around Thanksgiving. Because that's when people start putting up the holiday um putting up their holiday decorations um so i want the kids to come over for christmas i mean ah, excuse me i want the kids to come over before thanksgiving and let's put the tree up or on thanksgiving but i know it's not gonna happen so i'm trying to get in contact with their dad to see if he can bring them to put the tree up for um before thanksgiving comes in and we um enjoy it without recording and putting them on uh youtube or tiktok or anything even though it would have been fun to put them out there let everybody see that they can't even put the tree up but everybody just so conniving they have nothing else to better do with their time they're gonna want to call dss and say i'm harming the children like they did with nana but anyways um make a long story short thanksgiving is approaching so i want to go ahead and get my turkey and ham everything together go ahead and cook something small i still can cook for me and naya and i still can go out to see papa on thanksgiving um to spend some time with him as well but the holidays don't even seem real because the kids are gone and another thing i thought about with um social media is somebody probably been listening to me when i kept saying i needed a break you know the kids that should get them on the weekend is in the third but that still doesn't mean they had to go out and put false allegations against me to make my children be gone for this long but it's not their fault you can't blame social media for certain and things in your life but i have to blame them for false allegations because it was false allegations it was not true you know what i'm saying so i'm in a good mood i'm trying to stay like that you know what i'm saying not try to be negative but i was mad about those views yo i was like yo look at the views on my book bro ain't nobody even come over there and view me man 97 people but anyways it's okay 97 people that did view me thank you very much nobody left a comment in the comment section is on they always say nick you always got the comment section turn off Oh, let me address one more thing while I'm on here because I'm not doing two and three videos and I'm not rewinding myself. I read a comment. Usually I don't respond to comments. I just look at it. But I read a comment that was very inappropriate on my channel. And I know y'all probably seen that I had to remove this chick. Uh, she was a Torah reader or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. A psychic reader. So she had on there. I said, I get up in the middle of the night and I play with Naya or whatever. You know, I play with her, jump on her or whatever. This lady coming into my comments and was like, um, you play with naya what do you mean by that play with her and then somebody said underneath her comment was like how can you be so rude and disgusting and nasty wait wait people mind be at your mind in the gutter or something I'm like you ain't got time to sit up here and 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 have a right mind of your own like what, what are you thinking about you sick you, you out of your mind you're disgusting like how could you go on somebody's platform and put it underneath the comments and then somebody respond back to it like you know what she mean like come on man that's just sick and nasty yo somebody at three in the morning you get up and play with your daughter what do you mean what Y'all some sick, weird old people, bro. Like, the comments be weird. Because when I seen it, I was like, let me remove this comment off my platform. Because ain't no way in the world I'm going to leave that comment up there for the whole world to see what she's saying. And that's nasty and disgusting. The respect is due to a dog. Y'all got to have respect for people's pages when y'all come on there. But anyways, make a long story short. You have been blocked. I got you off my page. That is very nasty, disgusting. And that is very disrespectful. So please do not do that on my platform. Don't do that at all. But anyways, I'm about to get ready to get me something to eat. I had to get nine to get my bingo books. Um, cause I'm about to go and play some bingo a little bit tonight, but other than that shit, I ain't got no plans to do nothing else. Um, working on this third book. I'm almost done. Like I said, I accomplished two books already. One was a paperback. One was a hardback. This one about to be a paperback cause I'm not wasting my time to do no hardback because basically this book just talking about my social media life on and off social media. Since people want to know everything about me and my children, there's a book that's about to be out there about me and my children life on, on social media and off social media so if you really want to know what's going on in my life buy the book you can get it on kindle too as well you can read it on kindle as well there's naya coming back in the car right there did you beat no the man the the, the perp he's he stopped by my car oh, we heard and blow and they looking for somebody so they about to come out here and see oh no it was the dude it was the yeah. perp that always be harassing me that been at the hair store that came behind my truck oh and, i know exactly what and he, about. yeah he blew the horn so i blew back at him but how you know how he know I'm sitting right here? If he ain't been watching. I hope I ain't about to hit nobody. Because I showed back all the way back. Anyways, like I was saying. The book is out. Um, I just published it. It's on Kindle. I was going to drop it on Thanksgiving. But I drop it now since I already took so much effort. Me and Naya to put in it. To get it out there. So basically it's talking about our life on and off social media. I got another one that's going to be dropping around December. I'm trying to keep them, I'm trying to keep them going. Because the lady... Um, one of my followers, she's a very sweet lady. She want a part two of my life, um, you know, with my mom. So I'm, I'm going to 
work on that a little bit more than what I was working on. So um, I got a book that's about to drop. It's going to be coming out soon. Once it's published, I'll let y'all know it's out there and y'all can go and purchase it on Kindle or y'all can purchase it um, from Amazon and get it shipped to your house. Like mine's get shipped to my house. But anyways, make a long story short. That was just very, very, very disrespectful for what that girl has said. So keep your comments classy and keep them. There you go right there. Keep your comments classy. Keep your comments neat at least. If you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. And my, and my grandma used to always teach me that. If you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. I mean, even though you want to base your opinion because I'm on a worldwide platform, you know what I'm saying, posting my videos and posting my life, but that does not give you the obligations to go out there and talk negative on my page, right? Right. Like, you got to respect boundaries. You know, you don't come on somebody's page and be like, oh, yeah, you touching on your daughter. What you mean you play with your daughter at 3 in the morning? What? Let's see. And nasty. Like, oh, Lord. When I seen that, I was like, what is wrong with this female? Like, literally, you ain't got no respect. But anyways, I don't know what I want to eat today. I get tired of eating out. I got the chops take out so I can do some barbecue pork chops for me and I eat some rice and beans or something like that. And I got the chicken out where I can do some baked chicken and um, um rice and corn. But I don't know what I'm going to cook. That's all I basically eat is corn, poker beans, and sweet peas. I really don't eat nothing else. And, and I eat cabbage, too. But I'm going to wind up figuring out what I'm going to cook for me and her later on tonight. And um, Sunday, I know I'm going to cook a dinner for me and her. But I'm going to get in contact with the kid's father and see if he can bring them to put this tree up. Because I really want to get this tree put up with them together. I don't want to do nothing without them. I already missed their birthdays. And that was already a discussion on that point. Because I never miss birthdays. I never miss any holidays with my children. And being in this situation, it hurts bad. And it hurts to the core to know that I can't reach out to my kids when I want to reach out to them. Give them a hug. Give them a kiss. Talk to them. Love on them. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, the ones that do respect me and mine truly, I, re I appreciate all the support and love y'all have been giving me and my children from day one. And that's going to the ones that respect me and mine truly. And um, all I got to say is, y'all, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to try to get some food. Look at these two getting over at the same time. That's why people be getting in wrecks. Like, how you going to get over at the same time? But anyways, let me let y'all see the clouds and I'm getting off. Because there ain't, ain't no clouds even out today. And I'm mad about that. So let me show y'all the clouds. And again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, watch those ads. Don't bump those ads. Don't skip those ads. I love you guys. Only to the ones that respect Nika and her family. Truly. Bye. traffic is very steady ain't nobody really on the road even though it's after five o'clock but i'm gonna see you guys later look at this food right here don't forget to like comment subscribe watch those ass baby say it one more time for me now you so what don't forget to what oh don't forget to like comment subscribe and watch those ass baby there she go all right y'all see you guys later